It's the most solemn day in the national calendar of Australia and New Zealand. Before dawn at the National War Memorial in Canberra, William and Catherine took part in the first of the Anzac Day commemorations, when, with large crowds, many of them veterans, they marked the 99th anniversary of the Gallipoli landings of the First World War, when Australian and New Zealand troops attempted a hazardous operation to seize strategic territory from Turkish forces in the Dardanelles. The landings went wrong, an estimated 900 men from the Australia and New Zealand Army Corps died on the first day alone. In the pre-dawn darkness, hymns were sung with the aid of torches, moving moments when the past was remembered and the sacrifices of an earlier generation were honoured. Later in daylight, the couple returned to lay a wreath in memory of all those Australians who've died in war. And then finally, with baby George, to the airport for the start of the long journey home, at the end of a three-week visit to Australia and New Zealand, when William, Catherine and George appear to have bolstered the position of the monarchy in both countries. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, Canberra.